Welcome to Hard Way Wrestling. It is a throwdown. To, do we have a name for Tuesday? I need to get these names. Name, top name. rope, throw down, throw up, topless. Oh, well, I like that. I like topless. Take your shirt off. Uh, there we go. Easy, easy, Austin. Easy, easy. My bad. My bad. My bad. What's, what keep, is going keep on, them, boys? Keep them C cups holstered, boy. <laughs> oh, Fuck oh. off. You know what those C cups hold? A championship belt, boy. This right boy. here, boy. 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 Anyway, I love so that title Hardway look. Wrestling, uh, yep, am, and you're never going to hold it. Jonathan Cross, don't let him touch it. He doesn't deserve to touch exactly. it. Exactly, he doesn't deserve I'm it. Sitting here with, with, uh, I'm sitting here with a Baltimore Oil fan. Look, I love that shirt. We got Ricky and we got we got Austin in the house. No Scotty today. No, no Scotty, Scotty two bodies. No Scotty two bodies. You know, and here's the thing. We're going to get into it. Uh, there's a debt that needs to be fucking paid, boys. There's a debt that needs to be paid, and we talked about it. And uh, I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed that uh, you kind of reneged on it there, Ricky. I never said in the first place that I was going to do it. I heard I him say, say he was, was going to do it. Bullshit. I think, I think that you said you were going to do it. I, I heard him say it. it. I'm not getting anywhere near Scotty's ass. Anyway, we uh, we were on a quest for 500, and boys, we did a round of applause. Real quickly this we past weekend. We did it. I just looked a few minutes ago. We were at 529. Uh, I would I would venture to say we are climbing pretty pretty quickly. Uh, the last show we were at uh, 472, 473, something like that, and we yeah. it, it just it just skyrocketed. Uh, just skyrocketed up. So, congratulations, good job, boys! Big milestone, five hundred. Just seems like yesterday we were so excited about fifty subscribers. Yeah. yeah. Good old, good old Mag See what Axis happens, boy. <laughs> See what happens when you bring in fresh young talent. You just get uh, I, skyrocketed I, to the moon. I, and uh, I can't wait to bring that fresh young talent in finally. So. Um, you just gotta get the other. You just gotta get Owen on here, and then uh, just to the I moon. I don't have a big enough screen. <laughs> and we gotta keep. I was talking about Owen Hardy, not not Sunshine. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We've, we've had Owen. <laughs> what's going on, Jessica? Yeah, uh, we've had Owen on before. Owen is Owen is great on, and I love Owen. You know, he's a he's a Hardy. You can't not love a Hardy. Uh, Owen's great off screen, but on screen he's boring as fuck. <laughs> Owen's probably like, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> and he's he's very he, Owen's smart. He knows he knows wrestling. He knows the new shit. He knows the old shit, which is awesome. He's like a combination of uh, uh, of Austin and and Scotty together for whatever reason, uh, give or take. The like, butt crack sticking out all the time. <laughs> uh, but uh, but he's like camera shy still. So. Uh, once we get once we get baby Hardy out of his shell, boy, he's gonna be he's gonna be something else. And we're and gonna we be gotta, able to say we had him first. Yeah, yeah. Unlike and we got to send months. out permission slips and um, uh, work study. <laughs> yeah, that's, work study uh, slips for him. That, <laughs> that is that is for sure. So, uh, uh, I think our new schedule is gonna be Tuesday. You guys okay with Tuesdays? Tuesday's cool with me. Leaves it's more shit to practice. talk about after Monday night. Yeah, it's a little easier. It, you know, it helps. It helps because sometimes over the weekend, like this past weekend, there was there no was collision. Nothing. Yeah, there was no collision. They were preempted by basketball, and I believe they're going to be preempted by basketball again this week. So yeah, they're airing at like eleven thirty. Wow. Yeah, I read that online. They're airing at like eleven thirty p.m. Wow. So Tony is, just does not care about his fucking viewership. <laughs> Tony said, fuck it. Throw it on honestly, there. Honestly, he can't do anything about it. When they signed these contracts, it was the same thing with, with USA and the Westminster Dog Classic. Like, you wouldn't you'd be able to watch Raw because there's fucking puppies on the screen. And, you know, yeah, but there wasn't. It wasn't the puppies. It was the, you know. Yeah, puppies. but there wasn't 64 teams of puppies playing <laughs> lasting a whole month. Well, why don't they show the women's basketball then? 
Screw the. F- Never mind. There'd be all those puppies. Puppies. Anyway, uh, so yeah, they're eleven o'clock. So does that mean that they're going to have their show at the regular time, uh, in front of their you know fifteen hundred um, uh, patrons, and then they're gonna we're gonna get spoilers before eleven o'clock? Probably. I think the way it was working is Wednesday instead of taping Rampage, they're taping Collision. Okay. I think it's how that's working. I'm not so too we'll sure. Know, we'll know everything by Friday. Yeah. Probably by Wednesday. <laughs> but Wednesday, Wednesday at 11 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Everything that's going on. So, but yeah, congratulations. 500, 500 subscribers. Pretty awesome. Uh, we're, you know, the next goal is obviously 600, but we want to get to a thousand. We want to pa- first, well, we want to get to 829. We want to pass instant re, re uh, and I'm not going back on the instant rewind until we get to, uh, until we beat their number. Honestly, that's, that's, that's going to be the goal. And I, I think, I think within the next month or month and a half, we can do it. I think we can do it. We've, we've, we've been killing it uh, uh, so far. So good. And, I couldn't do it without you guys and everybody at home who's not watching right now. So appreciate it. Appreciate it, boys. Yeah. Well, there's Mr. Puffers making his his uh his uh 500 subscriber uh jump. So what's up, Puff? That is one <laughs> fat awesome. ass cat. It's like the hell out of here. It's Austin, look at him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god, oh, god. Oh, god. I thought we were gonna lose Austin. I thought we were I thought we were gonna lose Austin. All right, well, let's He's get trying to spit it. that bubble gum out. Yeah, uh, we tried. We tried to uh, do that the other day. Um, yeah, I spit bubble gum. It stuck uh, right did on you, my you screen. Did it for me? Yeah, I spit. I spit chapstick. <laughs> uh, it's all I could get it in my yap. So, um, anyway, let's get into it. We had a raw last night. Pretty good raw, Austin. You're gonna run us through uh, what happened last night. Sure can. So the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes kicked off raw last night. Uh, nice hit a nice little promo, and then randomly the Rock shows up, unannounced Rock appearance. Now, have you have you heard the new the Rock's new music? Uh, it's awesome. If you, yeah. Listen to it. If you haven't, you're missing out. Yeah, it, it it's good the stuff. Best song ever. Like it is the Rock's music, and then it kind of goes into Roman's music. It has that background feel to it. It is fucking epic and i don't he's know got, that- he's got he's okay. got fin- the final boss cutting across his screen uh, now he, god damn cat he, he is he is it is the most epic thing in wrestling right now is the rock and yeah. their camera shots last night i was uh, just about to say that when that fucking music hit you didn't see him walk out it just cut to him and that glowing uh bobby rude glorious light was on him and it was just the rock. It was just the rock. So that's what I'm saying. How right? I walk into my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty epic. So the rock comes out, whispers to Cody Rhodes, and then walks away. So what? Did, After what like did, a five minute stare down. Yeah. What yeah. Do we think? What do we think? Not post in the chat earlier, and I'll, I'll read back some of these. But what? What do you think that the rock? What do you think that the rock said? Well, I just read it that he told him he was going to make him bleed tonight. Yeah, that's night. what. As a like, as someone that can lip read decently, uh, that's what I got out of it. Was I'm going to make you bleed? I didn't see the tonight part. I just read I'm going to make you bleed, or like I could just see that it said uh, I'm going to make you bleed. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. Well, here's some of the some of the comments. Uh, <laughs> um, Randy Chris says, I nailed your wife last night. That's a, that's a good one. Uh, can you play quarterback? There's a stupid league. I just bought. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, wake up this morning and I piss excellence. Uh, man, you look good in a suit. Uh, the dogs, the dogs are in the enclosed pool area. Garage side door is open. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, but somebody's gonna have somebody's gonna have, you're gonna have to explain now. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god, that's so, so fucked up. That's awesome. That's Chris Benoit's voicemail to fucking Chavo to Guerrero. <laughs> oh wow. 
well, Who uh, said that? Who said that? We got to shout that's that my man buddy. That's my buddy Steve from work. Steve, Steve shout oh, out to you, man. Steve, Steve. Yeah, the, the yeah, big yeah. guy from the bakery. Uh, yeah, Steve, fair. shout out to you, man. That was a great I'm one. I'm a winner uh, for sure. <laughs> uh, you smell nice, Cody. Uh, that was a good one. Uh, we want we want a shrubbery. <laughs> okay. I don't under, I don't understand that one. I figured he leaned in and said, uh, "I hear your dad's dead, and Christian Cage is looking for you." <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I thought he said. So, hey man, Christian's looking for you in catering. Yeah, uh, he's light a belt. He's gonna, <laughs> he wants to come back and finish his fucking story. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead. So after that segment, one of the cool takeaways from it was uh, that Cody referenced All In. Uh, basically saying that uh, he said, and I quote, this city should know when I make a bet, I keep my promise. It's uh, referencing the creation and sold out all in for all elite. Right. Um, next match led right into the first match of the night, uh, which was Ricochet versus JD Funko Pop McDonough. <laughs> Ricochet yeah, defeated yeah. McDonough. This match was basically Triple H saying, AW, cool, you could have Will Ospreay, we have Ricochet. Yep. And basically told Ricochet, go out there and fucking light it up. Flippity yeah, doo dah. Do you think do you think Ricochet's better than Ospreay? No. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> but it was Triple H saying, like, you can do all the flippy shit. We also have that as well. I think move, move, move for move, I think. Will Ospreay's better. Ah, I don't there, know. I think there's a match of them two together uh, that I watched not too long ago. I can't remember what promotion it was from. Maybe New Japan. But man, that was it looked like some Cirque Soleil shit. Just flippity doodahs well, everywhere. How, that's how we. That's how we found out about Ricochet and, and Ospreay years ago. Yep. Was that was that Superman pose at the end of their you know their, yeah their, their, their WCPW. Is that what it was? Yep. Uh, well, that's one of them. Like they they faced off numerous times, and it was basically like the same match over and over again, like the same opener. But sure. the most famous one that gets put out there is typically the WCBW one, where they're like still on their coats and like they do all the flippy shit. And... I mean, it's a, it was, and that's how I, I I actually re, I remember that match. Actually, Ricky, I think you and I were still chatting at the time in the beginning. Uh, that like, did you fucking see this dude? Ricochet, Ricochet, <laughs> do his <laughs> do this flip and end up with a fucking Superman pose. Uh, Cirque de Bully Shay, Cirque de Bully Shay. Okay, uh, yeah. So, anyway, go ahead. Log in, uh, Scotty. Don't some don't of the type stupid shit you can't read. <laughs> some of the cool spots in the match. Uh, Ricochet delivered a poison rider from the top rope. Um, he also. Did a pop up from an arm ringer Canadian destroyer, which I've never seen before, which was kind of cool. Uh, Ricochet ended up winning the match after doing a stand after doing a s- s- shooting star press while McDonald was standing, um, for the three count. So, overall, I think it was a really good match, really good opener for the show. Um, one thing that I really noticed about the show, and this is leading into the next segment, which was the CM Punk promo, there was a lot of talking. A lot of talking, not enough wrestling. Yeah, I think it was like a lot the of first, times like, it is. hour and a half before we really got anything. I mean, it was it was didn't seem like that ricochet match was right away. Yeah, it, well, the Cody promo happened. Um and I feel like there was a lot of commercials for some reason. Like, it was a long list of commercials, and they led right into Ricochet versus JD. Because um, they did, like, a backstage promo with Judgment Day after the Cody thing. And then the entrances. So, but yeah, this... Ricky, uh, there was a lot of promos. Ricochet, Ricochet was really good in Lucha Underground. He's Prince Puma there, right? I was now. Uh, and Frosty. I think, uh, Frosty. I think that they just... Um, I think they just referenced him being a puma this is the oh, second week in a row now yeah. yeah last week they mentioned it and it popped uh or it and broke like a puma. yeah they they uh it caused pat mcafee and michael cole to break and they posted like the clip of it online later 
Um, and then Michael Cole said last night that he was quick as a puma as well. So yeah. that's cool. Maybe maybe they're talk- maybe they're thinking about bringing Prince Puma to WWE. That'd be sick. Him under a hood. Yep. So leading into the next segment, CM Punk came out to this hometown of Chicago. Imagine um, that. Return to an ovation and we basically pops, we love pops. We love cheap pops. Yep, exactly. And then uh Drew McIntyre came out, talked to shit. Drew's so good though. I hate Drew McIntyre with a passion, but this little feud that he's had the past like couple months between like Seth Rollins and CM Punk and the bloodline, I've loved every second of it, truthfully. And I, I hate Drew McIntyre, but th- this past couple months has made me a little bit more of a fan. Are we going to be more disappointed if Drew McIntyre doesn't take that belt off of Seth or Cody not win? Oh, definitely Cody not winning would be yeah. more disappointing. That's yeah. that's the bigger bigger storyline right now. The Drew Seth thing's kind of the secondary, and they're almost making it seem like right now that maybe Drew isn't going to win the title. I, I I don't know. Drew's Drew's really good right now, and he just hit the stuff that he he just off the top of his head he comes up with is just great shit, great shit, yeah. great shit. Like the whole PG brother comment last yeah. night, that was good. Uh, the my favorite one liner of all time that he said here is, uh, "You don't do drugs, you don't drink, but you spend <laughs> all of your time in rehab." Yeah, yeah. that was so good. <laughs> great line. That one great was line. good. That was a good one liner. Um. They teased CM Punk being like a special guest referee. They were like, oh, that's his counting not. arm. And then he yeah. gets down and counts with his left hand. Like, that was funny. I'm surprised uh, there wasn't reports that he retore his tricep. Oh, my yeah, God. That would have been great. That would have been great. <laughs> uh, but, so it looks like he's going to be on commentary for Mania. I'm here for it. Which, I mean, I don't know how he doesn't interfere in that match. I actually think yeah. he caused Seth to lose that title because he hates fucking Seth as much as he hates Drew. So. Yeah. I still think – I don't think Seth's taking the pin. I, I'm i still hell-bent on the idea of Damian cashing in. Yeah. Or I'm still hell-bent on Damian getting involved somehow, whether it be night one or night two. Like after the or both. Well, even after like the Roman match, he cashes in like on night one and then causes a triple threat the next night. But like we've said previously, why would you do that for a transitional champion? Yada, yada, yada. But he could also try to do the um, Randy said Scott probably creamed his pants or punk last night. I guarantee you he did because he made uh he made a cornet a reference, reference too. Yeah, he made a reference to Pat McAfee. He said, "Sorry, I don't watch the show, but uh, because all I listen to is the Drive Through and the Experience, which is Jim Cornette's podcast. So, uh, I'm sure uh, uh you could hear. <laughs> you remember you remember the Stacy Keebler dancing on the table for Vince, and he falls backwards over the chair. Oh, was that, sure, was that was Scotty. Scotty. Yeah, I believe Scotty broke a chair. Like- but yeah, overall that segment was great. I loved every second of it. It was really good. I love, um, I love when they just walk by dudes like they're not there. Uh, yep. Yeah, Seth just yeah. rolled right by CM Punk like he wasn't even there. Just walk right on by him. Like that is great. Like whenever uh, LA Knight did it to Roman, like yep. in the middle of Roman's entrance, LA Knight just like signs. see ya. Just. <laughs> um. Segment ends uh, after Rollins kind of gets pissed off and Drew McIntyre got in the ring. They did a little thing and then Rollins delivered a stomp. So uh, Hunter Hunter Hamilton or Hunter Cole is in the chat. Uh, what's up, y'all? Love the podcast. Uh, Hunter, my fa- my my 13th favorite wrestler at USW, and we only have 12. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Love Hunter. Love Hunter. Go ahead. Sorry. Hey, man, you won't love him May 25th. You're not going to love that guy at all. What the fuck are you talking about? May 25th. You're not going to love Hunter Cole. Did somebody stooge the finish off already or what? No, I'm just saying you 
don't like that guy since no, Adam. I, I will like him. I will like him as long as he stays out of the way. Yeah, he just stays out of the way. Just go in there, do the finger poke of doom, and get fucking get it over with. Oh, uh, okay, makes lay sense. Down, lay down in the middle of the ring. Listen, trainee, lay down, lay down in the middle of the ring. I know you're still working. It's fine. All right, yeah, that's okay. Some guys get belts. Some guys don't get belts. That's just how <laughs> that's how it works around here, you know. And Hunter, that's true. I mean, it's it's you know, I talented kid, talented kid. Just stay out of my fucking way. Go ahead. <laughs> Next match was uh, Ivy Nile versus Candice LeRae. I write a, May twenty fifth. I write a huge wrong. What do you? What do you? Uh, is your parents coming to adopt you or something? <laughs> Finger poking. <dude. laughs> write a huge wrong. What do you? Have? Don't be kept your receipt for Walmart. You take your shit back. I guess. I don't know. So. Uh, <laughs> Ivy mean, Nile and Candice LeRae squared off, and uh, LeRae faked the injury, which caused uh, Ivy Nile to get stacked up. And I like that. I love rips. that. I thought that was great. I actually thought that was that was a nice finish. Was They're nice. trying it to was. get us a WrestleMania pre-show match with uh, Candice LeRae and Indy. Oh, we're getting a curtain jerk match there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. <laughs> a what, son? A what? Curtain jerk. You never heard that? No. You ever heard that term before? <laughs> no, nah, I'm sorry. I was born uh, in 1999. Yeah, well, it's so. a wrestling term. Maybe, you, maybe, uh, maybe you put that belt down. You can't hear it. <laughs> oh my bad. You're right. How loud that fucking belt and your tights are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a match. That's a match that opens tonight. 100. percent Curtain jerk. Curtain pre-show. It's usually, the ma- it's usually the, it's a pre-show match. It's usually the match that sets the tone for. Uh, for the night, but I can't imagine that that, that match is set in any tone uh, for anything. From the bottom of my heart, cross, I hate you. <laughs> well, um, I'll tell you what, man. You, you motherfucker. Yep, there he oh, goes. There we go. You're you're interrupting my fucking podcast, bro. Interrupting my podcast, you fucking Virginia prick! Don't you have training tonight? Don't you have to train with old people tonight? Pops and Lucius Wade, cocksucker! Go ahead, God, I broke out my new glasses for this shit. <laughs> so after the quote unquote curtain jerk match, now so uh, DIY versus the New Day happened. Ended in a no contest after Judgment Day came down and beat the shit out of everyone while Awesome Truth was on commentary. Um, I was dying when Truth was was calling Gargano HBK. He kept saying, I'm so excited about this match with DX. (laughs) (laughs) He's so good, man. He kept calling for commercial. That was the great part. They were going to kick his ass. He kept going... Oh, go to commercial. Go to commercial. <laughs> I didn't kept thinking McAfee was JBL. Yeah. Where's your? Yeah. Where's your no, name? that's McAfee. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, guys. So, I don't know if they're gonna try to pull like an injury storyline, and this is how the bullshit's gonna happen with the mystery sixth or whatever the hell it is, six pack, eight pack. You get a pack, I get a pack. Fucking ladder match at WrestleMania. So, I guess we'll see what happens. Who's in this match already? New Day, uh, Judgment Day, DX, <laughs> <laughs> Awesome Truth, Awesome Truth. That's four. Judgment uh, Day. We said right. Yeah. Uh, LWO. Or no, not I always get the two confused. Fucking Legato Del Fantasma. Yeah. Yeah, that's L- that's L W. The, no, the, young, the young Bucks. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. FBR. I was gonna say, hey, look, I made the mistake. <laughs> the Bucks, F T R. right. Prince Nana. Right. <laughs> no, but I Legion think this of, is how Legion we do Doom, Legion of Doom is coming back. <laughs> The one with Makes sense. <laughs> oh, wow. 
after this uh, no contest, we had Andrade versus Giovanni Vinci, in which uh, Andrade defeated Vinci. Seemed like a solid match. Uh, Andrade chopped the shit out of Vinci, and it sounded like a damn firework going off. Like, Vinci was giving him back, though. Yeah. Absolutely giving him back. Him with his machine guns might be there. You know, that is actually, that's that's a good, that's way to get, uh, their contract is coming up. Yeah. If they come to WWE, they're fucking stupid. Well, there'd be nobody, <laughs> right? They're, they'll be below DIY or DX, right? They'll yeah, be they'll be below DX. DX. Yeah, they'll be below the real DX. Re- <laughs> re- <laughs> regeneration X. <laughs> DIY, but... I don't get it. There's two of you. You can't do it yourself. There's two of you. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so overall, the match was really good, or at least decent. It was better than the fucking... Ivan Isle match. See, this Andrade um, match is like, like, I mean, in AEW, Andrade beat the absolute piss. They beat the piss out of each other, but it didn't make any sense. For some reason, they move over to WWE, and this match made sense. It just, yeah. from start to finish, you know, it made, it made sense. It wasn't, it wasn't just, uh, you know, outside the ring running around beating the shit out of each other with objects and machine gun titty chops and, <laughs> Table spot here, table spot there, table spot there. everywhere. Uh, deported halfway through the fucking match. <laughs> <laughs> also, I just realized. Ray Phoenix. Yeah, he's still looking know. for Ray Phoenix, I think. Also, I feel kind of. I, I just now realized. On the side of a tequila bottle. He was supposed to face Ivar. Uh, Ivar, they, so I read today yeah. that Ivar was not injured. They just pulled him from the match. He'll be fine. Oh, good. Ivar or, fucking sports anyways. Ivar fucking sucks anyways. I'd rather see Gi- Giovanni Vinci. That's neither here nor there. Moving on to the next match. Uh, Ivar still trying to tap into some better internet connection. <laughs> Wrong Ivar, brother. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where the fuck are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? <laughs> Ivar, not micro. <laughs> Ivar, the giga-sized one. I love you, Ivar. Uh, right. Becky Lynch, Becky Lynch interrupted Rhea Ripley. Um, this was really good. Rhea Ripley absolutely knocked out Dominic Mysterio, which was great. Or, I'm sorry, no, that Becky was Lynch. Becky. Yeah, she, yeah, Becky Lynch knocked out Dom, which was awesome. Yeah, that was hilarious. He so took that slowed, well. Did you see they slowed it down? The punch was great. Yes, yeah, uh, uh, the Mac frustrator. He sold it, sold it terribly. <laughs> Terrible sell on this punch. I don't know if she hit him so hard that he didn't realize. That he hit him <laughs> so fucking hard. She fucking jacked him. Hit him so hard he was like, "Shit, I'm supposed to sell." Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's crazy. Uh, um, did you guys catch Rhea Ripley's uh, um, her stink face this weekend? I did. Oh yeah. Yeah, and did you oh. see the next one with Shayna Baszler? Yeah, her trying yeah. to get one. Yeah. That was that was fucking hilarious. Yeah. That was awesome. I love that. Yeah. Good good job, Shayna. Shayna like has her always been to her blood sport, but good job, Shayna. Zero shot. They're not gonna let a WWE talent go over there and get her ass whooped. I think it's blood sport. So what is blood sport? Can someone explain that to me? Because I don't know anything about it. I don't know a whole lot about it. I think it's I I think it's got no ropes, like it's a ring with no ropes, and they just beat the fuck out of each other. No, dude. Yeah. Go ahead, you keep talking. I'll look it up. Uh, I mean, there's so a after... movie from the 80s you can check out. Oh, yeah. Jean Claude. Jean Claude. Hell yeah. That's the first thing that popped up. Um. So after this uh, little promo, um, we moved on to Sami Zayn versus Big Bronson Reed. Um, in which Bronson Reed beat Sami Zayn. Why? Because fuck you. That's why. Um, yeah, you know. I missed this match because I, I had to like get my kid meds and stuff because he's sick. Yeah, I, I get I get why they did that. They're trying to do they're they're setting it up where uh, he's he's in Sammy's head, uh Gun- Gunther's in Sammy's head, and it looks like that we're gonna get a Chad Gable was going to train Sammy Zayn. For how fucking long? We got we got, we got one more half. raw. Eleven days. <laughs> yeah. Eleven days. Twelve days if they go night two. Q 
cue the Rocky theme. Yeah. They're going to be running on the beach together. I want I want Zane to come back as El Generico <laughs> and win it. Sammy's not winning it. Um, no, I don't think so. I, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. There's a lot of build up here to this match. A lot of build up. You don't think there's a lot of build up with this whole this whole he's in Sammy's head and if he they Sammy at Mania, all this build up with the with with uh um uh with what's his face training him and whatnot and i'm sure they'll be doing uh suplexes like they were doing with that chick trying to train her <laughs> so lot, it's funny you say this it's funny you say this because you had mentioned rocky this is literally the rocky movie this is one of the rockies where yeah ivan drago yes number four Yes, this is literally that because Chad Gable is going to go to Berlin and he's going to face Gunther in Berlin. I'm calling it now. Gunther's going to win. He's going to hold the belt till Berlin and who knows? We'll see what happens there. But you don't take this belt off of Gunther for Sami Zayn for anything. No, no, and, I, and you're right. They're, they're they're using this. They're they're going to. He's going to Germany. He's going to Germany with his fucking title. I don't know that he loses it in Germany, uh, because they might bring back the fucking Third Reich. Uh, if Gunther loses, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could you could almost see like the second coming of you know. I don't know. Can we say Hitler? I don't know. Is that a thing? Can you say, you know, a bunch of Aryans running around, shooting up redheaded people? You know, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I do find it kind of fucked up that we got a German leading a group called Imperium in pro wrestling. It is kind of fucked up. We're I'm just going to put that out there. Error, buddy. We're in the attitude error. <laughs> They're trying. <laughs> They're definitely trying. Yeah. We'll get to that in a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so after fucking Bronson Reed decided to beat Sami Zayn, we moved on to Jey Uso versus Shinsuke and Nakamura. I don't and give a fuck about Jey Uso anymore. I don't care about Jey Uso anymore. I'm uh, his promos are, are, are fucking yeet. It's, they're terrible. They're fucking terrible. Turn him heel, put him back in the fucking bloodline, and get and 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 fucking kill or or fucking cut Shinsuke from the fucking roster. He's terrible too. His fucking matches are the same thing. Am I wrong? Is Shinsuke's last twelve fucking feuds the same? I was gonna say yeah. It's I could give give know, a crap about shit stain. Over uh, uh, subtitle bullshit, which is cool when they first did it, but now it's the same shit over and over again. And Shinsuke, you know what's what happens to Shinsuke at the end of this? Uh, he got speared and rocked. He fucking loses. Shinsuke's a loser. He's, he's lost since they, they built him. They built him up to have a feud with Seth Rollins, and since then he's just lost. That wasn't even great. That's yeah, probably it, it really was. He's done in a while. We gotta do a segment where we just propose trades between fucking AEW and WWE because Shinsuke would do so much better in fucking AEW. Okay, well I- for about a week. Uh, I propose we we I propose they trade him back to fucking New Japan for a bag of beans or whatever they fucking got for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sick of fucking Shinsuke. Honestly, I am. Send him TNA I, again. Truthfully, send him. Yeah, he was in TNA at one point. No shit, I didn't know mm-hmm. that. Fucking see ya. Goodbye. Go over there. Truthfully, and- send him back down to NXT and let him diddle dowdy around down there with fucking Baron Corbin and them. Cause, <laughs> cause truthfully, like he is just kind of floundering on the main roster. Like he's good enhancement talent at this point, but right. And that, this fucking shit's game. Now this is what WWE does. They like, I think they do this shit on purpose. They're like, okay, okay. What's New Japan's biggest star? This Shinsuke guy. We're gonna bring Shinsuke in. And we're gonna make him look like fucking shit. He's not as good. He's not as good as Ricochet. <laughs> they'll bring him in and that fucking Braun you not too Braun Breaker's gonna end up uh fucking his first feud is gonna be with Shitstain. That's for sure. Shitstain? Oh no. 
<laughs> so the match ended uh, with Jimmy and uh, Jobberman Sokoa making their presence as felt. Um, Another guy who hasn't won a fucking match since, since fucking beat John Cena. Yeah, which is nuts to think which about. Right? Who picked that? I didn't. We didn't. <laughs> oh shit! I that beat John it. Cena, and I'm losing. Jewel. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. Delivered fucking five fucking thumbs to the throat, and then just doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, and they say AEW does the exact opposite. Yeah, they're like. Like whatever, whatever fucking wrestler falls off the WWE truck, the fucking <laughs> w- or AEW's there with a the fucking pooper scooper and picks them up. Hey, y'all. <laughs> pooper scooper and a. Title. You need a title? We'll make you a title. What does that What do you want to po- be? Pooper what scooper and a rocket. Continental breakfast champion. Here you go. Here's your belt. You are the you are the king of IHOP. Put a belt on anybody. Oh, we got, hey, there's the catering belt. You can win the catering belt. <laughs> Dig- digital media title. Oh, my God. <laughs> but please, with that fucking digital media title. That's terrible. That's terrible. I, listen, we have 500 subscribers. I need that fucking digital media title now. You and, you and Frosty can fight for it. No, I'll, I'll, shit, he can hold on to it for, for 300 more fucking people, buddy. <laughs> So uh the match ended, Jay delivered a spear, uh, and then Good the brawl with the, Adam Cole called the spear before he hit the spear. The melee ensued. He goes, Oh my god, hits with the uh, nope. Okay, now he hits it with the spear. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good job, Michael Cole. <laughs> uh so a brawl happens, and then the rock attacks Cody Rhodes. Beat the fucking shit out of Cody Rhodes uh, all over Chicago. It wasn't beat the fuck out of him. I mean, it was uh, it was a lot of get up, boy. Like it was a lot of. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know if I really appreciated that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I appreciated that get up, boy, the whole time. Yeah. Low key, I watched it. I was like, Ew, that's a little. <laughs> yeah, was, uh, and we got we got Cody blood. Yeah. I gar- I saw something on Twitter and it was uh have you ever seen the episode of SpongeBob where he flicks open the uh the fucking jellyfish net? <laughs> it was a fucking razor blade and it was triple H and he was like, Here you go, Cody. <laughs> like <laughs> fucking Cody Rhodes was so excited to be able to blade last night. You know, it was it was it was it was funny. Oh reliable. I know yeah, they- exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> When they cut the camera away when, when the rock was looking directly into the camera. I knew Cody was over there doing something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he took one little slice. He took one little slice. It was a good one though. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, it was a good slice. Get up, boy. Get here comes here comes Triple H's payback at Mania for the throne smashing. He's gonna come out with a sledgehammer and cost Cody the title. <laughs> Right, it was well, some we got- weird walking tall shit. <laughs> <laughs> now I would have rather him do like like switch to the character from uh, from the rundown, but the guy, the one who ate the fruit, and then it made him numb. <laughs> he, numb. he couldn't move his body. Have you ever seen the rundown, Austin? You're blurry right now. Yeah, I'm trying to fix it. Hold on. Yeah, uh, have you ever seen the rundown? You got us. It's it's honestly that movie awesome. also came out before you were born. Probably. I think. I was say, I was say it was like is it the one? He's with Sean William with Scott Stifler? and Christopher yeah. Walken. Yeah, Stifler. Yeah, Stifler. yeah I've yeah, I heard monkey. Yeah, I heard monkey. <laughs> oh my god, it's the fucking greatest movie ever. Yeah, I, during uh, that explosion scene, like the tears on his shirt are on this side on one shot, and then are on this yeah. side on the next one. Bulls on the grind. They had an yeah, Irish. I, they had an Irish pilot. That you couldn't understand a fucking word he was saying. He was like, bulls on the grind. He's flying the plane. They're like, what the fuck are you saying? He goes, bulls on the grind. And they point down, there's bulls on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great movie. It's a great movie. I feel like I've yeah. seen it, but I it's been forever. Uh, a little thunder, a little lightning, a little thunder, a little lightning. I don't know. But overall, I feel like it was a really good Raw. I don't know how the fuck they're going to top it. They got one I don't know how the to fuck do it. I know. I don't know how the fuck they're going to top the go home show. If this yeah, was the go home show, I'd be fucking happy. The how the hell are they going to top this shit? 
The Cody's Rock's going to bleed. Yeah. Um, I don't think they touched The Rock. He's the final boss, man. He's the final boss. Are we back in the attitude there? One more. I mean, for this episode, they got pretty close with the <laughs> swearing, the blading. And yeah, I mean, they're, they're trying real hard right now to push the ratings. Yeah, they um when they go to Netflix, I, they're gonna ruin it. <laughs> they're gonna ruin wrestling because, you know the the it, it, every show is gonna have to not be family friendly from the from after that point because yeah it's um I don't know how they're gonna do it. I know I know when I mean I cuss a lot, but I know uh, <laughs> just a little. Just a little. I can't wait till I'm able to be in the middle of a ring and I can tell uh, L.A. Star to go fuck himself. Go fuck Can't wait. Story. <laughs> fuck your school. Oh, my God. How fucking great would that be? Uh, fuck you and fuck your school. How about that? Oh, shit. The day you graduate. Oh my God. As, you're, as you're getting pinned, because they're not letting you go over anymore. Uh, as, you're, as you're getting pinned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're never you're never seeing the you're never seeing the mat again. You're gonna be standing lights for a long time. Um, Fuck it, I'm gonna kick the guy in the nuts before I know I have to take the pin. <laughs> I like if you to, do it, uh, if you do it to Jeremy Stone, he can just fall on you. I used to like to do like weird shit. Anyway, uh, I would like if I was yeah if I was being pinned or I was I never only won I only ever won nope line. Yep, yeah, I've only ever won one match. <coughs> I've won a match ever. Uh, and that was against Chucky. Was being pinned, uh, yep, that was versus Chucky, uh, and uh, which is a pretty big one. Uh, anytime I was on the mat, I'd squeeze their nipple. Or if I had a, like a, like my thing is now, like when I choke a dude on the ropes, I talk in their fucking ears. I say shit to them and try to get them when they come up for being choked to see if they're laughing. <laughs> so the other night we had um, uh, voltage, and I was choked. TJ Sykes told me. So I grant I, I must have went after TJ at some point and he leaned out of the ropes, told me stay out of his business, blah 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 blah. So AK has him on the ropes, AK turns the ref. I go and I grab him. I'm going, stay out of your business. This is my business. And I, I lean down his ear and I go, Where are the white women at? Because <laughs> <laughs> TJ Sykes likes white women. Anyway, I try to get people to pop now. So that's that's the only enjoyment I get out of wrestling is seeing if I can say shit in their ear to make them fucking smile. But you should do that. You should do that next time you uh, next time you get a pin on somebody. Say, I have such a biggest burner right now. <laughs> <laughs> also, be the one that'll start laughing hysterically while he's getting pinned. No, honestly, there's been a few moments where I've came really close to breaking, and I'm like surprisingly held it in pretty well. Like at the last House of Pain show in the Battle Royal, we're sitting there. And we're waiting on someone's music to kill. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. And I'm like stomping on one of the guys. I'm looking at Jason. I'm like, yo, play this fucker's music. Like, god damn, brother. So I didn't know. Again, I told you. I had no idea that just that there was a spot. No one told me. Yeah. I think no it's, I think you were talking to Shorty Smalls at that time. Because we... I think you were talking to him about something, and I was just like, "Oh my god, brother, come on, play this man's music so we can get out of this battle royal." So they had they had a di- one of their trainee guys, uh, uh, Brody is what I call him, Brody, because he looks just like fucking Brody. Uh, um, he was supposed to come out to his music and beat the shit, like he just act like a fucking maniac, and uh, I didn't know. I didn't know there was a spot for him. I thought everybody was in the fucking ring. I don't. I don't remember half these guys. All, <laughs> a lot of them are new guys. New guys. So, uh, and he also, he's like, he's like, like, what the fuck is like, like who's music? Who the fuck are you talking yeah, about? I'm sitting. There, I'm literally like stomping. I'm like, play his music, Jason. Like, I and I said, is there another song? He goes, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I look over and say, "Yeah, play that fucking song right there." So, anyway. <laughs> yeah. So we get to that, and then like when he comes out, he comes out acting like a fucking lunatic, and I'm like, I'm trying my fucking hardest not to laugh because if you know him outside, it's like 
this guy's a fucking this is completely 180 yeah he's kind of laid back and quiet right yeah and then he comes out fucking barking on a chain with a manager fucking head off like banging his head off the fucking like terry bam bam gordy shit banging his fucking head off the ring and i'm like and then he breaks the fucking handcuff yeah that wasn't supposed to happen yeah i didn't think so (laughs) but it was pretty good good spot good spot so yeah I try to. I've been able to hold it in, but I know there's going to come a time and point where I'm not going to be able to hold it in. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Well, if we ever get, I, I, I'm gonna. We're, well, what's the next show we're on together? USW, right? In May. Yeah. yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> right before Don't you go it. through the curtain, I'm gonna say some of the most disgusting fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I might like it. Chill out. <laughs> we will see. We're gonna see. So you should you should walk in front of Danny. <laughs> I might his, have to. His fucking limbo pole poking into the fucking back. <laughs> 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 oh shit. Anyway, uh we got one more show. Right, we got uh Thursday. We're gonna do a show Thursday, right? We're gonna do a show Thursday. Why right, say free for all Friday, Riley. You might want to check your calendar, but it's only Tuesday. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's only Tuesday. That's okay. It's all free for all anyway. Uh, yeah. You're not definitely not available on Friday. Me? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, so we'll we'll go again on Thursday, and then we have uh we have our WrestleMania show next week, which will be a longer show. That'll be the only show we do next week because we will not be in town on Friday. Uh, Ricky and I will be headed to Mania, and uh, we'll be shooting some video and doing some stuff from from Mania. Uh, probably my arrest. Uh, yeah, yeah, live pizza cutter news is uh, Jonathan Cross n- bites the decrepit leg off Just Incredibles cardboard cutout because he probably won't be there. <laughs> he says the live title says "Free for All Friday." Why is it, Jason? I shouldn't. No, it does. It, it does. does say on free for all Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see that at? It right says, don't Facebook fuck page. with the final boss. Today on free for all Friday, we cover. Oh, where do you see that at? On the Facebook, on the Facebook Live now. Jesus. <laughs> fuck it. We'll do it live. I don't know what you're talking about. Here, of course not. You typed it up. <laughs> I know damn well this motherfucker uses copy and paste. Yeah, <laughs> yeah got him. Got him. Uh, anyway, yeah. yeah, so we're going to do our, our WrestleMania show next week. I figure um, probably a good day to do the WrestleMania show is, is Thursday. Yeah, that works. Right? So we're um, – I don't know that we're going to do anything on Monday, uh, but definitely we're going to talk about uh, – we're going to do Free For All Friday for um, – don't think I just done that shit to me now. <laughs> um and then we're gonna talk we're gonna talk everything wrestlemania and going into the weekend we also have uh not only wrestlemania we have uh pay-per-view especially if you people within the fantasy league we have ring of honor on friday yes uh, is that the only three we got uh, ring of is, honor mania one mania two when is nxt's it's that is Saturday. wait a minute i thought it was thursday it's the same. No, it's the same. I thought there was some NXT thing the same day as Mania Night One, like before it. Because I swear I saw advertising for like April sixth. Yeah, which is Mania At Night noon. One. Yeah. So. April. It's in the daytime. Yep, at noon. It's the same shit they did last year because they gave fans time to get over to. The stadium. Oh, so it's in a different place. Uh, that's my assumption since it was last time. Wow, Ricky, do we want to go to that? Do we want to go to that instead of Fan Fest? My I assumption. I mean, my assumption would be that it would be in Wells Fargo. If it's not in the actual same building, it would be in Wells Fargo, which is literally right across the street. Yep, I'm right. It's in the Wells Fargo Center. Right across the street? 
you li- literally Lincoln Financial's here, Wells Fargo's here. Yeah, it'll it'll it. be the stadium. It looks like a big dumpster. It is. It says three day pass. What the fuck? Three day pass for eighty one dollars. How's it a three day pass fit through the eighth? That is that better not be fucking WrestleMania tickets. I doubt that. You cocksucker! You stand and deliver. Uh, tickets are thirty dollars. Twelve thirty p.m. Let's do it. You want to do it? I don't care. I'm down for whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. That way you don't get arrested. Uh, I'm. Then we're going on Sunday. Oh yeah, that's right. It's all weekend. Yeah, it's all weekend. I I just want to see sky blue. Uh, she'll be there. She'll be there all weekend. That's all I want to see. So, anyway, again, next week's going to be a, a big week for us. Uh, maybe we need to shoot twice, uh, two or video twice to cover. <laughs> you think everything. Sky Sky Blue's ever done a stink face? I I hope. I don't think anything smells on her. I'd be willing to find out. Yes, you would. Well, why can't we? If we put Scotty in Sky Blue's outfit, will you do it? Hell no. Scotty Blue? Scotty Blue? Oh my God, that's it. <laughs> Ugh. Sky Scotty. I love it. Oh, I mean, you can see him from the sky. Well, <laughs> we, we, need, we need to figure out what we're going to do when we get to 1,000. We need to figure out what we're going to do when we get to 1,000. Let me chop the shit out of Scotty. He loves that, though. Everyone everyone gets 10 chops on Scotty. We'll just do that. Mm, how about three good ones? After about four or five, man, your fucking hand starts to hurt. That's when you switch hands. The sky of, <laughs> the sky of Scotty. <laughs> All right, well, I'll have that video done by Friday. For, for <laughs> the editing is real. So. What, anyway, what's yeah, what's yeah, what's Independent yeah. doing at, at, at 1,000? Uh, I think, uh, well, we've already seen Steve's tits, so I don't think we're doing that. Uh, they're doing that. Uh, they're, they're releasing a video that they used to have a long time ago. They call it Hoof Driver 1000. I think it's I really hope it's cool. better than that table match. Uh, oh, God. There's some strong ass tables. Uh, I <laughs> Rusty think, Ted uh, tattoos. Yeah. You want to you uh, do, do the ta- tattoos? Tattoos? In a hard live way, right? It. You want me to? You want to see me cry on live streams? Is that what we want to do? We'll get the hard way. HW. But no, I think that's what they're saying. They're doing for an independent rewind. Oh, okay. I can't see it's Facebook, so I can't see it. They're getting tattoos. Oh yeah, yeah. nine hundred of nine hundred is hoof driver. Well, hoof driver, uh, sixty nine or whatever the fuck it is. It's a girl that keeps getting kicked in the twat. I think that's what it is. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do? When we pass them before they get to 900, and we will, uh, we're going to release Hoof Driver. <laughs> <laughs> By two other girls. Oh, okay, great. Great, great. Two girls, one hoof. I've seen that video. <laughs> so, anyway, we're rambling on here. Uh, yeah, again, next week, big week. Uh, maybe we cover, maybe we try to cover some of it on Friday, start talking about WrestleMania. And and our predictions on Friday and then Friday we're not going to be here. A Thursday, sorry Thursday. Uh, that was a cup. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never made. I never ate chocolate. Never ate chocolate ice cream again after that. By the way, <laughs> uh, Austin, you're young. Have you ever seen the the video Two Girls One Cup? Yes, I've seen all the iterations too. That, there's more than one. Dude, there's like two girls, one cup, one guy, one bottle. There's like a bunch of different. Oh my bullshit. god, is that the one with the guy in the butthole? Yes. Oh, what the hell? Yep. What are we <laughs> about this shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, free for all Friday. Yes, you know what? It will be a free for all Thursday. It's it's turning into a throw up Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's going to do it here. Make sure you go like and subscribe. Again, we are at 5 plus 100, whatever it is now. Probably 530 by the time, you know, this is done here. So Let me see. Uh, make sure you go like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Uh, our next goal is 600. Uh, baby steps. Baby steps. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, I'm one dick pick uh, or dick, one dick pick. One dick kick pick uh, video away from fucking getting another 200 subscribers immediately. So, 
nothing okay good all right anyway uh we'll see you guys on thursday uh hope we might have scotty back by then right scotty's at golden corral right now eating so <laughs> he should be done by thursday. he might be done by thursday yeah he'll be done by thursday i think he was prepared for this stink face he's a little disappointed that you're not gonna do it now so not a chance no chance that's <laughs> what you got <laughs> all right we'll see you guys next time on the hard way Oh, that's good.